Yo guys, what is up? This is Tom from Unreal Meta and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to create massive cities in Clarice from Isotropics. Let's start. So first go to file, save your file in a nice location and then go to import geometry and load in all your buildings. Okay, just do no materials for now. You can see if I zoom out all the buildings are loaded in the scene. Now I can go to geometry and add a plane. Let's scale this up, make it 30 kilometers by 30 kilometers. Yep, this is way better for the city. And I have four blocks now. And you can just place your buildings in the way you like. I think this looks okay. And I can grab them all, then right click on one of them, go to combine, and I got the combiner. For now, I can press Ctrl H on all of these. So they are disabled and I only have the combiner. And if I go to move, I move the combiner. Okay, nice. Now we need to scatter those buildings. So go to new, scatterer and you get this one. We also need is to right click new geometry and then add a point array. Then scroll down to count and let's say the count is 20 by 20. And the size of it is 20 kilometers by 20 kilometers. Okay, this looks good, but there are too many arrays because the city is too big to fit in those blue dotted like squares. So we go to the point array again, let's say maybe 10 by 10. And yeah, this should work. Now we can go to the scatterer and add geometry support at the point array, press apply, and then scroll down until you see geometry and then add row, combiner, apply, and you see your city was pasted in and you can hide this with Ctrl H. For me, the distances between the buildings are too big. So we need to adjust this by going to the point array and making this number a bit bigger. Okay, this looks way better. The buildings are near and this is okay. But for now, this looks like copy and paste and this is just not good. So we can go to the scatterer, then to rotation variance and set this to 360. And at the scatter rotation variance step, set this to something like 180. And this should look better. Also, the most of you guys are not subscribed. So please do it for nice CGI content. What you can do in the scatterer is add other rows of geometry and then just set the probability of this to another number like 20 and less buildings should appear and more other buildings. But because I only have one, this doesn't matter. In my opinion, there are too much of those big buildings that I have and I can just delete this in the 3D software and load the models in again and yeah, you can just make so much variation. I just made it like this to show it to you really quick. And then you can go to lighting, IBL, this is image based lighting. So load in an HDRI from here and just delete the light you had before. And if you go to this little icon and previous, you can actually see how your scene is rendered. If you go to progressive rendering, you can see the lighting too. And this looks already very nice without materials. But with materials, this looks just insane. And you can see the primitive count is 1.5 million vertices already. And that's just insane. You can load in a billion vertices and this will still do the job. It's really, really good. And yeah, I hope you liked this video. If yes, leave thumbs up. If no, leave thumbs down. I'll see you next time and bye.